Hey there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here and today I wanted to talk about why some of you are feeling so extremely fatigued even if you're sleeping more, especially right now, right? What I have been noticing and the calls I've been having with women, the emails, the messages, everything that is just flooding in and this is from women around the world. I get messages from women all over the world every single day. So just so you know, you're not alone. You are not all by yourself on this. This is definitely happening for so many people everywhere that there is so much fatigue. And if you have or have had an underlying hormone issue, stress issue right now, it's like that got lit on fire, like a gallon of gasoline on that fire. This excess stress amplifies it. So to have that issue all of a sudden feel 20 times worse right now, Absolutely. If you were dealing with fatigue before, right now it's going to feel even tougher. And you might be thinking, I don't understand. I'm sleeping so much. I'm working from home, so I am sleeping in. I even take a power nap sometimes. And I'm getting to bed, you know, at a pretty decent hour. I'm getting hours of sleep, but why am I feeling so exhausted? And the answer can be many different things, right? I always talk about the hormonal cycle, how your hormones affect your system, your body throughout the month, how you have different bodies throughout the month, right? And depending on where your system is, you might be in this phase of your hormonal cycle. So you might need more rest right there. It might be normal for you. And that added stress is going to mean that your body needs more rest to recover, recuperate from everything that's happening right now very, very normal, very typical to feel more run down just with the weight of the world essentially in what's happening. So you're not alone. You're not crazy. There's nothing wrong, right? But if you're feeling like, you know what? I am so much more fatigued. There's something else going on and it's, it's been going on. I've been trying to ignore it or just hope it goes away or, you know, waiting for it just to get better. And now it's worse. What do I do? Where do I start? I'll tell you a great place to start is the Dutch test. <laughs> the Dutch test can show us what's going on hormonally for you and what your cortisol levels are doing. So if you have not gotten a Dutch test and you're like, yes, sign me up, get this sent to me because it gets sent right to your home. It's urine, dried urine test. You send it back in and then I get to go over all of your results with you right there, right there in the comments, right there in the comments. Um, there's a link to get that. Um, hi, <laughs> Veronica. <laughs> good morning, good evening. See, no matter where you are in the world, right? <laughs> um, but here's one of the things that we look at with cortisol, and this is something to think about, because even if you've had a saliva test, right? Oftentimes when you go get your saliva tested, they're testing what's called your free cortisol levels. Now that makes up about one to 3% of the total cortisol levels in your body. Yeah, yeah, but we measure that in the urine output here too. And the free cortisol, it says it right on here, reflects the tissue level. So this is what your tissue is getting, right? But here, look at how imbalanced this is. Look at the metabolized cortisol. Look at how much higher that is. And again, this is just a sample. This is just a sample of what this is. But that means this is the tissue level of cortisol and this is the total cortisol, meaning what your body is putting out, what your adrenals are trying to crank out for you. <gasps> They're so off. That's exhausting. So if you've had cortisol levels be off already, right? Now let's throw in a pandemic and all of the stress associated with that, right? <sighs> So much to process. Oh, hmm. let's keep going. Let's, let's put it at this time of your cycle too. No wonder you're going to be fatigued no matter how much you rest, no matter how much you're like, okay, I'm going to rest and recover and recuperate and do all these wonderful things for my body and my system. Great. But if you're not addressing the specific things your system needs at this time of the month for those cortisol levels, it's not just going to get better on its own. And with the stress that we're having right now, it's really tough to just say, oh, ride it out. Pfft, buck up. Huh. Are you kidding? Oh, yikes. Oftentimes for women, especially if, if this is not something that you're addressing, it's not necessarily just going to get better on its own. 
So the one thing that I encourage you to think about, if you're wondering about, okay, should I do the Dutch test? Is it right for me? Because I've had people message, like they're like, I say, go click the link, fill it out so I know all this stuff. And they'll say, I, I, uh, I don't even know if it's something I should do. So I'll get messages on it. And I'll say, listen, just, just find out more, right? Because at some point, things are going to change for us. At some point, the time will pass. That's a, that's a guarantee. Time will pass. So six months from now, where are you going to be? If you've already had hormonal issues, if you already know this is a struggle for you, six months from now, where is your health going to be? Because if you, are, if you get even more run down, even more fatigued, what tends to happen for the female body is that we, what's called catabolize our muscle tissue. Yeah, yeah. That sounds fun, right? No, it means we break down that muscle tissue and use it for energy, take anything that we're eating, store it as fat, because we're trying to protect everything. And that's what, that's what we do. So you're gonna end up six months from now in a place where it's really tough to come back from, completely exhausted and fatigued, and have a long road ahead of you. Or if you're willing to say, okay, I wanna do this, I wanna learn more, I wanna know more, I wanna get in the driver's seat of my own health. And I wanna take this time and focus my energy on getting to a better place where I can manage my stress, where I know what's going on hormonally, and I can get moving in the right direction in whatever small way that is for you. That's why I have the Dutch test available. That's why I do consults with women and really help guide you in a better direction. It's a lot, it's a lot to take in and it's a lot to even think about sometimes with like, gosh, one more thing, one more thing, oh, yeah. But I guarantee once you start focusing on yourself, once you start focusing on, okay, these are things I can do to help me and you start to feel the difference and you start to notice that improvement, your fatigue, getting better, more energy, more mental clarity around everything, it's gonna make moving through this tough time that much easier. I promise, yes. So that's what I got for you guys today. Please let me know if you have any questions. Um, again, that link is there for you because it gives me information enough about you to send you the right test. There's different types of Dutch tests. So I wanna make sure I'm sending the right one for you. So again, I can know more about you to help you best. Um, other resources I have for you, of course, are my book, The Female Fat Solution. This is on Amazon. And then I also, Tara just waking up from a nap, right? <laughs> um, yeah, see, naps. And they're not bad things. There's some women I'm like, yeah, you do need to take naps to reset your, your um, to help reset your system. Get that rest you need. Get everything else you need. Yeah. Um, so Absolutely. Um, podcast, the female health solution that's on all places podcast. So you can connect with that and listen to more health information for women. Um, and then I have my YouTube channel, which is just Dr. Beth Westy, which you can subscribe to, to stay updated on all the information I have coming out. So yeah. Hi, sweetheart. Do you want to say hi? Are you still doing yeah. Yeah. Peanut butter is healthy. You have to move in the move in the frame, sweetheart. He just came home. He's just uh, look at this guy. Look at this guy. Look at that clean face. He shaved his beard. I love it. I love it. Mm-hmm. And he's eating a peanut butter spoon. See, this is the thing. Like this is why men's health is so different than women's health, because he just can eat all day long, and it's totally fine. Women don't get to do that, do they? No. Right. Mm. Mm. Peanut butter. Mm. <laughs> All right, so that's what I got for you guys today. I just thought he looked so cute with his clean shaved and fresh. Right? Super. Super. Super cute. Yeah, super cute. We mm. just did that podcast together too. My 200th episode was a uh, no, no, it was my 200 two episode 204 is our episode I think for podcast. So if you guys haven't listened to that, you can listen to that because it was fun, wasn't it? No pressure. 204 is number one. Yes. All right. Thanks for tuning in, guys. If you found the information helpful, please share it with other people that you know could use this information. Um, yeah. Otherwise, if you have other questions, don't hesitate to send them and I can do a video on it and help educate on it. All right. Have a great rest of your day.